Something really crazy is happening to me. I keep seeing this face everywhere. You witnessed a death. Now it's latched onto you. That's, that's a pretty cool shirt you got. Want me to sign it? Destination. The Puritan 2. Cut! The blood's wrong. Molly Bennett, meet Max and Minx. Pleased to meet you. Uh, sorry. We've all got blood on our hands now. The past ain't finished with you, Maxine. Ain't nowhere to hide this show business. You never work in this town again. Maxine, what are you hiding? I see the devil stalking me. I can feel his power. We've made it to the belly of the beast. We must eliminate all distractions, or the beast will spit you right back out. Time to pay for your sins. It's America's new spring queen. Maxine fucking Minx. Nicely done. Thank you.
This is my husband, Ben. Patrick Feld, this is my wife, Kira. This is Agnes. And has some trouble communicating. He can be a bit insecure. Nice Vespa. Yeah, isn't she? You should try. Can we? I won't call the fun police if you don't. Okay. Back before I quit my practice. You're a lawyer. Doctor, listen, you have to come and visit. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah? Yeah. Done. <laughs> <laughs> so quiet around here. Do they even have any neighbors? Hey, you made it. Welcome, welcome. Ta-da! You are VIP guests. Just to remind you I'm a vegetarian. Our gift oh. to you. That is so. I'm. Louise, doctor's orders. Hmm. Very good. <laughs> Settle in. I promise you guys, it could be a great weekend. Well, how long's it been? 17 years. <laughs> 17 years. Wow. You get less than murder. <laughs> <laughs> Something's not right with him. He has a condition. It makes it hard for him to communicate. Sometimes it's okay to think things, but you can't actually say them. Oh, no. Thank God there's a doctor in the house. I'm not a doctor. What? But didn't you say you were a doctor? Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Look at their faces. Of course I'm a bloody doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Agnes, why don't you and Aunt show us the dance that you've been working on? And what is wrong with you? Just feel the rhythm in your feet. Right, one, two, three, four. This is the one. What is wrong with you? I want to pack up the car and I want to leave right now. Sad to see you go. You can go out there and be completely normal. We've been pretending it's normal since we got here. Dad? Remember that time you guys came to stay? You flipped out and tried to leave without saying goodbye? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's a job coming to me off the back of somebody else's. Tragedy. Wow. Not bad, huh? So, what's with the stage? Have you forgotten what kind of movie we're making? Set, action. All kinds of messed up stuff happened when they were making movies like The Omen or The Exorcist. And the guy your dad replaced? Everything's cursed. With my father's voice. Okay. Here he is. Tony, 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 Tony. It's okay. You're okay, all right. So you're blacking out again? What is it this time? This is something else. He's off his meds. He's erratic. Father, what do I do? I was saved once. Didn't believe that it could happen again. Can he be saved? We're saving, and you know it. I know you're afraid. Me too. 
It's all right to be afraid. Have faith. He will protect his children. When it happens, run. You're probably wondering why I called you all home. It's an Abernathy reunion! Here's Madeline. CJ. And here's Drewski and Hannah Panetta! Hi, Cameron. <laughs> it's been years since we were all under this roof. So quiet. Where is everyone? He sent the staff and security home for the night. Why? I think it's best he tell you himself. Dad, we need you to level with us. What's going on? I asked you all here because by midnight, I'm going to die. What, what? Dad? You look fine. What did the doctor say? I didn't say I was sick. This whole thing is insane. You really think your dad's just making all this up? I assure all of you, this is not a game. I've ruined lives in the name of business. And now, there's a price on my head. Hello? You're saying that someone is going to come here and kill you? It's not someone. It's... Some... Thing. What's happened? Oh, God. There's something in this house and it killed your sister. Do you really want to be next? There are certain precautions to make sure you take this seriously. I think you can squeeze through. If I survive the night, you're two billion dollars richer. I'm stuck. Get me out. Something's in here. Come on, let go! <laughs> oh my god. If I die tonight, you'll get nothing! We're in this together, all of us. Come and get me. You must be some way out of this house. What is that thing? It's what's come for me, my dear. One touch without a rope is all it takes. Never let go. Once upon a time, there was a mother and her two sons. And nothing could hurt them as long as they stay connected to their home. I know this life's been hard on you boys since the world ended. Don't feed the dog. We're not the only ones starving. But the evil out there is clever. <laughs> One touch without a robot is all it takes. Never let go. Never let go. Never let go. After your rope broke, did you notice anything? Why are you asking all these questions? Mama never lied to us. He wants you to doubt me. Maybe it's safe to leave. That's what it wants you to think. That rope is your lifeline. Never let go. Say it. Never let, let go. go. Maybe the world's still out there. We're in the world now.
Could you open the door? What do you want? You're in trouble. What? Could you just open the door? I am telling you that there is someone in there with you. Why do you want it? He took my sister's life. I want to see what was going through his mind. You said I should visit on Danny's anniversary. The thought of another patient showing up the front door here. Would you allow them in? Of course not. My sister would never allow a strange man into her home in the middle of the night. She's saying some weird things to me, Dad. She's clearly not well. Do you mind staying out here alone at night? I'm just telling you what I saw. That is ghost. My dead wife is not haunting this house. What is this? Put them back! This is not real. As I've always believed. There's nothing that can't be explained. Would you sign your name for me? It's vital that I keep a record of all our guests. I'm really a no guest. Anyone who sets foot in my home is my guest. Put a suit on again. This pain that I have with me. I mean, that's all that I have left of her. Take a trip. Some place away from all these distractions. I may have to go to Nantucket for an important case that I'm working on. How perfect. An opportunity to distance yourself and confront this burden. Bless your soul. What, what, what do you mean? Well, only from what you've mentioned. About your baby. Did I told you that? You told me everything. Is everything all right? <laughs> Why, yes. Everything is exactly as it should be.